to the channel today. I'm in Greenville, South Carolina. Here at Reedy River Falls on Reedy River, downtown Greenville. Today we are celebrating, and you ask, what are we celebrating? 30 years of my life. Today is my birthday. Happy birthday. I've joined the Dirty 30 Club. Today marks it December 28, 2022 as the recording of this. 30 years ago I was born and brought into this world here. And uh, today we're, I'm celebrating my birthday. My wife's going to meet up with me a little later today. Uh, I got some things I want to do. I'm going to show you this place, show you some shots here. Uh, pretty falls on Reed, Reedy River in Greenville, South Carolina. Yes, it's fun. 30 years. Can't believe I've been in this world for 30 years. It's been a long 30 years, but a good 30 years, I have to say. I've seen lots of things in my 30 years. I've been a lot of places in my 30 years. I've done a lot of things in my 30 years. My, I, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have the life I did growing up and, and the life I have had while I've been an adult. So I appreciate everyone that's had a part of helping me grow and raising me and being in my life. I've accomplished many many things that I didn't think I would at 30 as having a steady good paying job a company that cares about their employees and takes care of their employees being married I got married a year ago when I was uh, 28 uh, always said I'd want to be married around 30 and I did that uh, I'm just thankful for everything you know 30 years that's a long time it's a long time to be alive and uh, I'm thankful every day that I wake up that I'm blessed to see every day uh, like this beautiful river right here that beautiful waterfall just flowing down those rocks this is actually I don't live too far from Greenville and this is my first time ever getting out and coming down and this is the bridge the bridge here across Reedy River is actually the only one suspension bridge I believe I said pedestrian bridge I believe that's what I read and it's right downtown Greenville it's a great part to come out and see uh, a lot of walking to do the walking trails down there a lot of stores and shops but yeah back to my birthday it's been 30 years since I was born and I'm I'm happy I'm happy I'm ready to see what the next 30 years have for me uh, I plan on having kids within the next five years. Maybe that, maybe, maybe that that happen. Who knows? Only God knows. Uh, yeah, I mean, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just celebrating my birthday and looking at this pretty river and everything and checking it out later today. I'm gonna go to a couple more places. I know one place for sure that I'm going to after we leave here. And uh, later today, I'm gonna finish it all off at the at the well, the Barnes Barnes Wellness, the Barnes Core Wellness Arena, watching the Greenville Swamp Rabbits take on the Atlanta Gladiators. That's where my wife's gonna meet me. She's had to work today, so she's gonna ride down after work, meet me, and we're gonna we didn't get to get seats together, but we're pretty close, and hopefully somebody will let us slide down one seat and let her sit beside me. But yeah. Uh, I hope you all enjoy this video and I hope you've enjoyed looking here at the river this beautiful beautiful river coming down those rocks and uh, we're gonna celebrate my birthday today at Big 30 happy birthday to me happy birthday to me <laughs> anyway I hope you all enjoy this one and uh so yeah i hope you all enjoy this one and uh give this video a big thumbs up if you like it at the end get lets me know you like it lets me know you care let's get this one started let's let's head to our next location here we go and our next stop here is at the campbell's covered bridge the last covered bridge existence to South Carolina that has been here since the early early days 
they did have a plaque up here that you could used to read but that has since been removed but yeah i just wanted to show this cool awesome bridge off unfortunately they do have it closed because as you can tell they are doing some remodel to it a little remodel so they have it all closed off where you can't ride through it unfortunately this is actually about 30 to 40 minutes outside of downtown greenville but check this inside out here these how nice it would be cool to drive through this bad boy that's for sure and along through here they have some as you see up through there they have some picnic some benches up here in the field that you can sit at look back down i guess over here they have a picnic area and some more benches as well so they look like they're getting ready to add some gravel and things here so yeah the campbell's covered bridge and it's pretty cold down there at the water uh the water's froze i was skating along the creek beaver dam creek has the that's what this bridge sets over is the beaver dam creek right there it's a pretty creek too it's nice and chilly out here this morning that sun glimmering on the bridge there coming a little closer get you a better look there this old wood coverage bridge yeah it's right outside of greenville like i say it's not too far outside the town limits so yeah it's pretty cool i wish they had windows it'd be cool if you could look out the windows but they don't yeah wood covered right there so i found a sign i'm reading i read it it said uh in the earliest times the rock show upstream of the bridge was used as a ford until flat bridge was built across the beaver down creek on uh, monday august 24th in 1908 and people started using that at 7 p.m where 20 inches of rain fell during the next 24 hours the this uh freshet washed out the bridge and local residents again used the ford to cross the bridge so not only when it opened just in the next 24 hours the uh, flat bridge flooded and they had to start using the campbell's covered bridge once again and uh so yeah and it's 30 the current it was built by charles willis in uh 1878 and 1966 built the, he built the current 35 foot long by 12 foot wide bridge on land owned by alexander campbell and he was living 1836 to 1920 uh so yeah this is i don't know if it's still owned in the family it don't say on here but just a little so this bridge comes back at least i'd say early 1900s late 1800s it really don't tell us on here so but yeah i enjoyed it, looking at it and seeing it i wish i just wish i could drive my car through there it would be cool i think to hear the old wood you know how it, crack it crack cracks or pops whatever when you go over it so yeah that would be awesome but yeah beaver down creek here at uh campbell's covered bridge i just wanted to share it with you and show you all today so yeah on to our next location here we go as i'm standing here looking at this crane i've stopped off here at lake cunningham here in greenville county greenville south carolina never been here before so i said i'd stop and this guy met me here as he flies away goodbye crane there he goes just for my fishermen if you love topwater fishing they have a lot of lily pads here to run your frog across some brush over there as well go out here to the end take a look at lake cunningham like i said i've never been here before this is my first time ever taking a look at this lake somehow you put your boats in around over there we're gonna ride around there here in a moment look at that as well but yeah lake cunningham in greenville south carolina hello there's my shadow looking back at the lake now how shallow it is up here at the 
torch the bank. I'm just enjoying a nice day out here today. 50 something degrees, a little wind making it a little cooler. Beautiful December 28th, 2022. Now we pulled around over here to the boat dock, which has actually a nice little dock here for the boats. Uh, there is no fishing on this side over here off the bank though, however. But there is some information there that you can use. Uh, you can get your, it's, you gotta have a permit permit to uh, fish here. It's owned by the Public Works of Greer, South Carolina. We're actually, this is actually Greer, right outside of, of Greenville, excuse me. And they want you to catch and release, which I do anyway, which I wouldn't be fishing this because I'm not a resident of Greer. But there is the boat ramp, and that looks awful fishy there. That goes up over up right up under the bridge up here over the main road yeah if i was a resident of greer i would probably or greenville greenville greer area i would probably definitely get me a permit for here all watercraft boats canoes kayaks sailboards must have current cpw access permit all right on to our next location as i was driving alongside this main highway came across this old old building here in Greer as you can see what what appears to be like an old mill maybe kind of we're gonna walk down here in just a moment and look back but I cannot pass this up and not stop as you can see we can't mess with it no trespassing signs which I wouldn't want to go in anyway unless it was open to the public we're gonna walk down here on the creek bed and look back I want to show you something else I saw as well and that's why I believe it is an old mill. It has an old wheel back here, an old water wheel, like it would turn the old gristle or something, maybe. Looking underneath here as well. Of course, you have people that wants to mess things up. I don't too much care for that, but check out underneath here. It's all up, held up by the rocks. By the rocks. This is an awesome building. I had to stop and show it off. That awesome old old water wheel there now looking back up the creek here standing right next to the water wheel over across there it's beautiful with the sun shining on the water here watching it come down through here and go on down the creek way there so we look back up here now this is what this side of it looks like here as you can see we're gonna go up back up and go around and look on the other side and check it out as well this is awesome I love stuff like this and I wanted to share it with you all the old water wheel there ain't no telling how old this building is and definitely ain't no telling I mean I'm sure it's the same age as the building but there ain't no telling how old that water wheel is right there as you can tell it's rusted away still standing beautiful piece of history there that's for sure definitely a piece of history that in this building let's go back around and look at the front now on the door they have this spelt out here not sure if that means anything or not PD Gilrath guessing that's the owner maybe not 100% sure on that and there she is all in her glory looking back the opposite way got the water wheel and the old building in it there yeah I just wanted to stop and show that it looks like it's two stories maybe one two and three maybe three stories who knows beautiful old and historic right there right off the main road you see plenty of cars coming up through here next stops Dave and Buster's I said heck it I want to play some video games today so here we go going in here to play some video games we're gonna play the fishing game now. Check it out, it's got a real line on it. There we go. Check him out, check him out. Yellow tuna. Got him. I got two balls left. 
Almost had it. Here we go. Last ball and we miss. Brought it down to 50. Got an 800. In this very, playing this very old school monster jackpot game. If you remember back in the day, this used to be in the McDonald's in the kid zones. That's where I played this game for the first time at a McDonald's. We're going to try to get it in the jackpot there. Let's see how it goes. We missed the jackpot. But we're going to get six tickets out of it. We're going to slide our card again and play one more time. Here we go. Looking for the Mr. Bot. Looking for that monster jackpot, actually. Here we go. And we barely missed. Oh, oh. I thought it was going to go in. I thought it was going in. Let's try it again. I love this game. This is one of my favorite games. They are to play. It's real easy to win, too. It's not too hard. I've won Monster Jackpot on these before. It is possible. But it is very, very difficult getting two right there. Here we go. We're going to do one more time, and that's it on this game, okay? Here we go. Dropping it. Just a wild drop for ten tickets. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa, and we're off. We're off. We are off. Check us out. Check us out. Boom. Got him. Mario. It's me, Mario. Let's see what we get right here. This hand. What's this hand do? Oh, I can hit somebody. I had to use that at the wrong time. Oh, Lord. He's just swinging away. Check it out. Here we go. Uh oh. Get him before he gets me. Oh, he had a shield on him. You couldn't get him because of his shield. He had a shield. I got the hand thing again, but I can't get up there next to him to get him. Let's just hit it. Oh, goodness. What? So, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Through the star. Oh. Give me something good. Give me something good. Yes. Get out of here. <laughs> I got her. I think they're about to get me. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. I didn't see that. Here we go. About four or five. Only got one more left. This hand keeps coming up. I don't like the hand. The hand does nothing for me. The hand does not absolutely not. Let's see. Oh, I barely missed. I thought I was going to get to see the hand. It's me. Mario. Get out of here, browser. Get out of my way. Let's go up. Get, make sure we get something. First place, guys. We're in first place. Got the smoke, though. Got the smoke, though. I got that smoke, though. Oh, there they are. We coming around. Oh, it's going to be a good race. We've only landed this right here. Let's see if we're going to win. Let's see. We won. We won. Yeah, Mario. First place. Here we go, guys. Playing hatchet. Just got to wait for the target to clear here. Oh. oh! I need to get the target. Got 50 points there. Oh, right there almost. Bullseye! Got one more round. This is kind of fun. This might, might make, I've always wanted to go axe throwing, but I've never actually went. But it's kind of making me want to go try it. That's why I tried this out here. Here we go. Oh, that was low. Bullseye. 25, that's bullseye. Oh, okay, bullseye. Here we go. Oh, didn't even hit. 290. Playing the claw machine, I'm just dropping and going with it, too. I'm not even going to try for nothing. I'm just going to throw it out there and wish for the best. We're going to play a couple times here. Do the same thing. Just throw it out and hope for the best. That's the best way to do it, yeah? I really want the Scooby-Doo, but I don't think I'm going to get it. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do we got it? Do we got it? We got him! We got the Scooby-Doo! We got the Scooby! Scooby-Doo acquired. Out of the claw machine. All right, I lost the track of time in there. 
it's a little later than I wanted to leave, but headed to the well. Let's go rabbits. All right, guys, my birthday's been, been pretty fun today. Busy, but fun. Been hurting a lot with my back, unfortunately, but hey, that's what happens. We've had fun though. Started off at uh, the falls at, the falls at Reedy River in Greenville. Went over to the uh, Campbell's Covered Bridge. Found that old, what I think to be maybe like an old mill on the side of the road. And then went to Dave and Buster's and now we're here at Bond's Core Wellness Arena to finish it all off with the Greenville Swamp Rabbits and the Knights Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Night. So they have special Paw Patrol jerseys they're gonna be wearing and I'm sure we'll see some more Paw Patrol stuff set out through the concourse. Let's get in here, here we go. They have these cool little Paw Patrol puzzles they're giving out to the kids 14 and under with some of the players and Paw Patrol and that's cool. They even have their pucks for tonight, Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Night Puck. You can get to remember tonight's game. December 28, 2022. Can even get a little stuff animal stomper. Never seen that. That's cool. All right, we're on our way to our we're on our way to our seats right now. Uh, I'm never set during a game on ice level. I'm on ice level, but not at the glass. I'm one row back from the glass. So it's my birthday. Heck, it. I'm gonna have some fun. Sit on the sit on the floor tonight. So here we go. Your stomper. Check him out. We're gonna win tonight, stomper. We're gonna win. Yeah, we're gonna win. Some warm ups. That's the only thing bad about sitting this side. You see the gladiators warm up closer to you than the rabbits. It's gonna be fun sitting down here, though. Right here in the action. That big loud bang you hear. The puck missing the net hitting the Right there, Yeah, with the night being Paw Patrol night, you can bring your dogs to uh, the arena tonight. And they did a uh, race in the, right here during the period. And uh, one of us like Flash won. Uh, if you know who I'm talking about, Flash, tell me in the comments. It was one of my favorite TV shows. Came off of very, one of my very favorite TV shows when I was little. But yeah, that was awesome. I just realized, setting this close, 
I should have known. I've never seen Zamboni this close in person. Let's go, Zamboni! Zamboni! She's finally showed up. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Time for the second period with the Swamp Rabbits defending on our end now. So we don't want to see no goals in this net this, this period. Really cool. Yeah, I like these seats, but they're not my favorite by no means. I like to be able to see the play from up top. I usually sit at the top of it. Right there.
four minutes left in the four minutes five seconds, excuse me, left to play here in the second period. Go rabbit! Good tonight, playing real good tonight. <laughs> Two teeth four! Second period comes to an end, it's four to one. There is the. And it's time for the third period. Here for the Greenville. Just starting the third period. Here we go. We're on the penalty play. We're on the power play. Five and four. Maybe we punch one more in here. Real quick. Yeah. Slide on the side of the net here. It actually stays with him when he slides over. Going on another power play. Here we go. Let's go, Rabbit.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. She finally made it here in Greenville, South Carolina. I hope you enjoyed today. We went and saw the covered bridge on my birthday. We went to Reedy Fall, Falls at Reedy River. We went to, we saw the old grist mill, went to Dave and Buster's, and we ended the night here, five to one against the Atlanta Gladiators. Excuse me. Swamp Rabbits for the win. I enjoyed the game. It's cold out here. You can see my breath. You can see my breath. That's how cold it is. I'm hurting standing here. I've been on my feet for a good portion of the day. My back's killing me. So it's time to go home. Dirty 30, baby. Dirty 30. I enjoyed it. Had a heck of a birthday today. Here's to the next 30 years. Thank you all for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And give this video a big thumbs up. Let's me know you care and let me know you like it. Hey, Swamp Rabbit wins on my birthday. What more could I ask for? Happy birthday to me. And I'll see you in the next one.